Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Precious Now and in this video we are going to know about AU EAT examination pattern as well as the syllabus. So in order to know about all of this, what this will going to benefit you. This will surely give you an idea and insight about how the exam is structured as well as what are the topics that you can create a checklist for yourself for a convenient and a productive preparation. Knowing this will also help you organize yourself and make sure self that you are being consistent in your preparation and ace that particular exam. So all of this information is can be accessed from one page itself. Yes, you heard it right. From one page that is from exams.preciousnow.com. So in order to get there, how can you access it for yourself? All you have to do is head over to Google and search for AUEET syllabus Freshes now. So as you search, you can see the first link itself is from exams.freshes now. Give a click on this and you are right here in the page that is going to give you the whole information regarding all the credentials on subject basis. So the subjects for the examination are mathematics, physics and chemistry that would be constituted for 100 marks and the total time duration for this exam is 1 hour 30 minutes. And further before we head along to know about the details, I would like to request you all to join our telegram channel. Just like you clicking on the subscribe button below, joining our telegram channel will give you the access of knowing every information regarding entrance exam happening across India very instantly. So don't miss this chance. Now let us know the overview. The examination is conducted by Andhra University and this is an engineering entrance examination. Candidates. Make sure that you are acing up with your basics first before you start your preparation in this. Here is the official website. In case if you want to cross check any of the information regarding this, always head forward and do your cross verifications. Now here is the examination pattern. So giving you an insight, the examination is conducted only in English with 1 hour 30 minutes time duration on a multiple choice based answers or questions that are going to be asked and the sectional marking or the sectional questions for each subject are mathematics you have 40 questions, for physics you have 30 and for chemistry you have again 30 questions. In total there will be 100 questions which would be asked. A simple criteria regarding the examination pattern. Well let us see what is the syllabus that you have to start off uh, with your preparation. So for mathematics not just knowing your fundamentals or your basic concepts knowing about the different concepts or the topics which are presented here will give you an insight as to what you have to focus more upon. So mathematics you have algebra, trigonometry, vector algebra, measures of dispersion and probabilities, coordinate geometry, calculus. For physics you should always be ahead with the concepts, the derivations, the terminologies which are included in the subjects and also knowing about units and measurements, motion in a straight line, motion in a plane, loss of motions and work energy and power, systems of particles and rotation motion, oscillation, gravitations, uh, mechanical properties of solids, fluids and liquids and matter, then uh, thermodynamics, kinetic energy, waves, uh, ray optics, optical instruments, electric charges and fields and magnetism and matter, electromagnetic waves, alternating current and dual nature of radiation, nuclei, atoms, semiconductors, circuits and communication systems. So you might be hearing all of these already but this is just to give you a deeper insight about what you need to be prioritizing. Just like physics even chemistry also stands out with the same perspectives knowing about atomic structures, classification of elements, block elements, their families, their groupings, chemical bondings, chemical structures, periodicity, periodic tables. Then you have about states of matter, chemical equilibrium and acids. Then just like I've mentioned all the block elements and the families are mentioned here. Then you have surface chemistry, biomolecules and also the organic compounds and the organic compounds in which different elements are containing. So you should be making sure that every topic has its own subtopic within. So make sure that you are knowing and focusing on those as well. So we have come to the end of the video. I hope you have understood and you have taken notes on every single section that we have covered. 
in case if you have any queries regarding this do place them in the comment section so that we will be happy to answer your questions thank you so much for watching once again and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel freshers now so that we will meet you all soon thank you